What's up guys and welcome to today's video. I'm in New York City and I'm going to be showing you a full day of eating. Obviously this is not going to be a true representation of what I eat on a day-to-day -day basis because that would be absolutely outrageous and I would be extremely fat. However, there's so many places which I want to try to eat in New York, so many good places I've heard of that I just need to try and sample. So we're going to start off the day with breakfast in Soho. So we're just outside of Jack's wife Frida. You can see there's a queue, that's usually a good sign. But I don't think it's actually very big inside, so that probably explains why there is a queue. Word on the street is this is quite a hot spot to eat breakfast. And apparently Casey Neistat eats here on a regular basis, so let's go check it out. So we've just got a seat, table for two. It is rather cramped in here. Alright, so I've gone four, if you can hear me, raise breakfast bowl. This is one of the healthier options. Just what I need to start the day. And we also have uh, 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 uh. I ate that so fast. That was so good though. It was like just the right amount of food. It was all very healthy. I feel good after that. What's that? Yogurt. We're off to a cereal bar called Milk and Cream apparently, We've just been to the gym and now we need to replenish the depleted glycogen stores in my arms which have just been trained so I'm going to fill it full of almond milk and some of the best American cereal I can get my hands on. absolutely outrageous. So here we have the beautiful cereal bowl, we have the cinnamon toast, Lucky Charms and some pieces of cookie dough on top. Choosing the cereal is probably one of the hardest things I've had to do in the past few days but I just thought that these two would mix. I didn't feel like any of the fruity ones would go together. And then here I have my almond milk to go on top. This is absolutely amazing. You don't understand how happy I am right now. What did I get? I don't know mate, you got a night. <laughs> what did you get? I think this is one of the best bowls of cereal I've ever had in my life. Is it? No. The reason behind that was, I think it was the cookie dough, right? I've never had pieces of cookie dough in a bowl of cereal. And when you combine that together with the marshmallow from the Lucky Charms, it was just a pure, heavenly orgasmic experience in my mouth. Absolutely outrageous. So next stop on my food tour today is a burger spot. Apparently a secret burger spot is located behind a door in the Meridian Hotel. I follow you on Instagram. Huh? I follow you on Instagram. He follows me on Instagram. Instagram. Yep. <laughs> I do all the gym thing. Yeah, wow, man. I can't believe it. Oh my God. So I just walked through the curtain. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to walk through the curtain. Hopefully it's not a brick wall and I've been set up. What's that? What is that little sign? It's a little burger sign there. Oh. That's always a good sign. You would not expect to see this where we just walked from. It was a very fancy hotel lobby. Looks like it should be something off a rugged street. Good vibe though. You can just, I can smell it already. You know when you smell it's going to be good. It's one of those. Right, so the food has arrived. We have a big bag of fries. <laughs> I got the works. I've got pretty much everything apart from tomato. Because I don't think tomato really goes with burger, that's just my opinion. And I got some extra bacon as well. Oh my god, let's have a look at it. Weighty. Smells tasty. That's good beef. Medium rare. Very good. Even though it was dingy, it was just nice. There was a lovely little vibe. Everyone was having fun, eating some amazing burgers. And the burgers were very good. They were very good. The fries what did you like most about the burger? 
the simplicity. It was just a, the way a burger should be. I'm not trying to be too fancy, putting weird things on it. And good bread, that's the key as well. You can't, you can't be playing around with a nice burger and having terrible buns. So that was a good nine out of 10. So here we are in the center of, well not in the center, but we're in Central Park. We're having a little walk around, just taking in the sights. We're on the way to get some cookies from Louis' recommendation. I feel like he's actually been my tour guide today because he's been here about 50 times. The man likes food, the man knows his food, and the man is sorting me out some tasty food. So far, I've not been disappointed. So hopefully it's not gonna take that much longer because it looks like it is gonna rain, and I hate getting rained on. I'm not one to complain. Well, I am sometimes one to complain, but I do not like getting rained on. I said I wanted to get an Uber here, um, but I think we'll be all right. I was like, no, it's gonna piss it down. What did we do? We walked right into the middle of the park and it started pissing down with rain. And I've dropped my bag. Probably in some poo. <laughs> We're in the queue for some cookies. The queue for Levine Bakery. A well renowned bakery, apparently. Obviously, it's well renowned because there's a massive queue, so we're just patiently waiting to get our fix. So we're getting blasted with fresh cookies, but it's cold air as well because it's mixing with the air conditioning. So if you, if you can imagine what cookie scented air conditioning is like, it's happening right now, and I don't want to move. The thing is, yeah, this is weird. You can only order four different types of cookies. You've got two of the dark chocolate ones and two normal ones, which is weird because obviously my next favorite place, cookie-wise, is Ben's Cookies, and there's so many to choose from. So this one is so warm. You know what? That's a lot. Look how gooey that is. Wait, watch. This is my cookie, so it's okay. Wow. Wow. Oh. Best cookie you've had. Yeah. Bye, Has to be. Yeah, because Ben's cookies is good. I like Ben's cookies, but it's like this is something different. You saw the way that broke and peeled away. That was that was a piece of art. That oatmeal. Oh, the oatmeal and raisin one. It's still okay. So this is coming from a guy who loves cookies and loves burgers. This has been a very good day so far. I probably have to say my favourite one was a dark chocolate chocolate chip cookie. That one took the crown. Oh, so that was arguably some of the best cookies I've ever had in my entire life. I had, let's just say, two, roughly. Uh, I feel good now. I imagine in about half an hour there's going to be a pretty serious crash occurring. So I'm going to go back to the hotel, get changed, showered, and probably lie down for a bit. So we are just on the rooftop of our hotel. Had a shower, quick change, repping a sexual little blue shirt, which I'm wearing right now. We're off to a pizza place called Grimaldi's. Quite a well-known, famous one opened up a very long time ago. So I'll be finishing off the day with a pizza. Okay, so we've got a current dilemma at the moment. There is two very good pizza places right next to each other. There's Grimaldi's, which was the first original choice, and then there's Giuliana's, which is a new choice, which also looks rather good. Now, I'm sure they're both amazing, but the queue for Giuliana's is slightly bigger. It looks more aesthetic from the outside and more cozy on the inside. Sorry, Grimaldi's, but 
Maybe another time. Maybe we ran out of ice cream place on the boardwalk though. Okay. Uh, it made it seem like there was a situation. Hey Mike. Hey, so I just sat down and ordered Julianas. I wanted to create my own little custom pizza. But they do this weird thing where they limit it so you can only get two toppings on the pizza. So I wanted pepperoni and I wanted some meatballs, but I wanted garlic as well. So he's going to come and bring me garlic on the side, which I can then place onto the pizza. Bit of a weird rule, I mean, you know, there must be a reason for it. Pepperoni, meatball, the cheese, pizza. That looks ridiculous. We also have a very boring. What's that? Pull it right out. Margarita, meatball. Right, that also looks absolutely ridiculous. We get half and half. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you one thing here. This looks outrageously big. You think, Mike, you're gonna eat all that? Let me show you something. This is large, this is medium, or small in here. There's not much difference. If you go for a large, it literally costs you an extra $3. So you may as well just go all in with the large. And obviously I asked for some extra garlic because I love garlic. They've chopped it all up there. I'm just going to sprinkle it. Oh god, one of those slices is going to be the most garlic thing I've ever eaten. I don't know why they just, they would they wouldn't do this for me. I don't know why. <coughs> the moment of truth. Oh yeah, that's good. I don't know. You can taste the fire. You can taste the ingredients are fresh. The way a pizza should be. Oh. I'm slowly getting defeated. I could probably finish that if I wanted to, but I would be going beyond the point of satisfied. I am pulled out. In fact, I was full a while ago. But there's something about this pizza that makes you want to have more. Like usually, if this had been any other pizza elsewhere, I'd be like, nah, I'm alright. Probably would have finished halfway through. But it's still tasty with each slice. It's still insane. It's ridiculous. Oh my god, what a day of eating. That was probably the best day of eating I've had in a very long time. And I think if you are ever to do a, a full day of eating some of the best foods you could possibly eat, New York is probably the spot to do it. I'm not gonna lie, London's good, but New York I think has the edge on London and most places out there. I'm rather full right now, I'm not gonna lie. It's probably a good idea that I wore this shirt because the belly is protruding. So yeah, if you get to New York, try check out some of those spots because you will not regret them. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon.